Welcome back to Comics Hot Comics TV. All right. Um. So last time I talked about the art of Joy Shinkawa for the Metal Gear um, series. This this is the second book. So um, as you can tell, I like Metal Gear, <laughs> and I like Joy Shinkawa a lot. His work is immaculate and really well produced. So again, we've got a cover treatment that Konami manufactured this book with a plastic uh, sleeve, dust jacket. And we've got here the work. So I guess it's reflecting like the art, some of the artwork, like the snakes on it. It's got this little mini sleeve the Japanese books tend to have a lot of, this is the official illustrations concept illustrations official work by um, Joy Shinkawa's art direction uh, this is a smaller book this is probably half of the first one and um, yeah anyway uh, so I think I'll make a recap from the last book that's all Photoshop he did very quickly um, he uh, sort of mentioned in the last in an interview that he had um, he had put too much work on the first book and that he just um, he wasn't gonna do that again uh, so you can sort of see that this is half and this book just came apart Wow all right, uh, that's not good. No bueno. No, no, no. Uh, bought this on day one. I don't know. I can't remember the day, the, the year that Metal Gear 2 came out, but um, this is more than 10 years at least. This book is a little, is a little bit more than 10 years old. I would dare to say it's like in the 20 year old mark. Look at this. Oh, well, even the Mona Lisa is falling apart. That's Dead Cell, uh, The Sons of Liberty. Um, he's bringing it to the table a different sort of color palette, he's doing a very different sort of approach to the original uh, book. The, the first book had different sort of ideas. This is, he's sort of bringing a different color palette, different, not statics, but this is different sort of, this is a little bit of a difference between the first book uh, character design and artwork and illustration opposed to the second book. The book has got these warmer colors, this more of pink and um, you know, gold sort of. And I know I mean gold is gold is uh, metal, but or pigment. Um, I'm just talking about like like an orangey or sort of thing going on. Hughes. Raiden. Raiden was a. He was not really well accepted when he first came out, and I'll go over that, uh, the controversy of that, because um, everybody's expecting a bigger, better um, game from the first one, um, you know, but Kojima kind of did a... He did not give the fandom what we kind of were expecting i guess on that but it was a had a more of a bigger profound sort of commentary about um about society about the future he predicted a lot of things that have kind of happened that are currently happening right now just a small example is like he was talking about memes and i'm not talking about the funny ones i'm talking about memes as a as a conversation uh, topic and also as uh, echo chambers that society currently is stuck in um, politics everything that you can sort of think of right now happen and also I think I dare to say that this was uh, delayed as well because um, there was events happening in America that uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna get into the detail oh my god another page just ripped out this book is falling apart um so yeah anyway um 
let's just talk about the art. Let's just concentrate on that. Um, it's, so Snake is not the focus character in this game. Uh, he's just kind of like a side character in the majority of the game. You do have a chapter of the game where you play with him and he's just kind of like the lead, but it's such a small fragment to the whole game. And that's what I guess a lot of people were upset about. Um, now you look at it back and you go, that's very subversive, very smart, what Kojima did, but also... Um, it would have... Yeah, anyway, it, it is what it is. It just happened a long time ago. And Snake is just a character that... Um, it's well beloved by a lot of people. And we love David Hayter as well as the voice incarnation of the West... Western version of, of Solid Snake. This was the cover art for the game. Um, yeah, but this is what Shinkawa is extremely good at. I mean, look at this. He's just unpacking, going to town with this. And he's doing it with these uh, Pentel synthetic brushes, these plastic brushes. It's like a pen that you fill in with India ink, and then the pen is got like a plastic sort of brush. And that you just sort of apply it onto it, and that's what he's doing here. This illustration. The, he's got a very dynamic way of posing uh, characters. And yeah, that's Snake and Raiden. This is a. Um, it's been used for so much, this illustration. Now, right in of the gate, I mean, he's now a well, well-established character. He's had his own games and like Metal Gear Rising, and yeah, uh, right in is like the Gray Fox sort of new, the new current Gray Fox, so it's like the new Cyber Ninja. He kind of becomes that in the end, and but in this introduction of this character, he's very androgynous, and I don't, I don't know. The reason, I uh, know the reasoning behind that was that Kojima was sort of saying that he wanted to have a pure-looking character, like a pu the purity of the character had come in first before what he was. So um, he was kind of like a white, pristine sort of like character that was in the involved in these um, in these events that were going to take place. Um, so look. Y y Whatever reason that these men had for his choices of aesthetics, and Shinkawa sort of complying to that, it's uh, yeah, it's an interesting take, I guess. Um, we were looking at the game from the eyes of writing, looking at the hero, the established sort of hero, but obviously we all wanted more Snake. <laughs> we wanted more uh, Solid Snake. It's so cool. These illustrations, so cool. Revolver Ocelot. Um, yeah, the one of the main characters of the series as well as one of the antagonists. So beautifully done. This is so so cool. He's using he's mixing things here. Or is he doing digital? Yeah, there's got a digital component to this. It's not entirely I think this is a very large can of watercolor and he's applied it on top. It would be very clever how he's breaking down light and, and the contrast of shadow and light and, and the chiaroscuro sort of thing. Um, very well put together and also the colors complementing these. Used in many magazines and article illustrations back in the day. This was done in Photoshop very quickly. From what I remember hearing from one of the um, one of the interviews is that he was using one of these brushes that sort of duplicates on top of each other. But very well, he's using the tool, you know, really well, really well executed. Yeah, same thing with this. Um, he's for you to achieve this is that you sort of invert a layer of it and then sort of apply blur to it and then this is how you achieve these sort of outline. 
very beautifully done, well executed. Makes you feel like you want to go do art yourself when you see these. <laughs> That's the uh, Metal Gear from Metal Gear 2, or the new model, the Gecko. Oh no, that's three. Well, anyway. Really well crafted, this illustration. The dry brush that he applies is just very dynamic, really, very, really quick. You can sort of see he came in and unpacked this. That's cool pixel work. He does this car caricature, this chibi thing. He's really good at doing these sort of tiny little cartoony things. Awesome, awesome designs. His designs are just to just well executed, uh, extremely well, well designed. The mechanical stuff, solid as snake. Um, this is a great splash of characters. Olga, yeah. Okay, so it's big spread. It's beautiful paper. Nicely printed. I want to know the dude out there who cut this out and put it on his wall. I, I just want to know who did such a thing. Uh huh. So, see, all it's half the book of the other book. So, yeah. any of this concept stuff, this is like my wheelhouse. I love this sort of thing. Um, look at that, how, how well executed this is, so well done, that is so, so well, well drawn, and his pencil work, very clean. my my book that's breaking down as we speak I haven't opened this book in quite a while and I'm just shocked the pages are coming off this is so well done see he's got movement onto the character so well executed, so good, so good. Otakon. And that's Emma Emmerich, Otakon's sister. Another tech genius. Raiden. It's like designing details to the suit, the boot, everything. That was a lot of cool. That's Raynan's girlfriend, Rose. And the Colonel, Colonel Campbell. Uh, Kojima was also making comments about AI and how that was going to affect society and that's all in this game. If you haven't played this game, do yourself a favor, stop this video and go start playing that game and find out what I'm talking about. So yeah. No, actually don't stop this video, keep watching this video. When, when I finish rambling about this, then you can go and start playing Metal Gear 2. It's easily available right now. You can get it on a collection pack for the PlayStation 5 or even the place. Oh, and the Switch. Yeah, if you have a Switch, go on for it. Go for it. Let's all go. That's so cool. So well done. Fortune.
that man. Vamp. Vamp was based on um, on a Spanish flamenco dancer, I think. It was like this Spanish dude. Yeah. And also a lot. Yeah, so um, I'm not going to spoil that, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, okay, Solidus. So Solidus is the big bad guy on this, and he's... Uh, Shinkawa was sort of saying that he based uh, this in a little bit of um, onto the Western comics. I think he used Doctor Octopus to come up with a sort of contraption that Solidus has, which is cool. It's like a cool version of Doctor Oct Octopus. In the Metal Gear. Arsenal. You have to go inside of Arsenal, and there's a lot of things that got discarded out of this um, out of this game because the PlayStation 2 could not do certain things that he was he wanted to do out of this. Kojima has always crazy ideas to he wants to push into the into the console. So look at this. This is a different bipedal sort of design. So some of these things got scrapped. Now Shinkawa going to town onto the actual interior design of the of certain areas of the of the game. That that's wow. I mean, if Shinkawa did this on his own and he didn't have any assistance in this, wow! I can only take off my hat to that man. Amazing stuff. All the detail, like height, dimensions. So you have an idea of the how big the architecture is. Okay, cool. Also, also, we, I must say, I must say that um, the color palette that he brings on board it's so well executed, it's like really thought out, well thought out to mix these colors. Cool, cool colors for the uniform on that one. Raiden does look like a girl, I'm not gonna deny that. <laughs> uh, looks like the general from Rambo, uh, Richard Craner. Looks like uh, influence has been put in there. Beautifully colored. Uh, okay, so this is the Game Boy game, the Ghost Babel. He did the conceptual work for that because Metal Gear was a full steam fandom everybody was wanted to see more more metal gear that that's not um that's not Meryl that's another girl nice cage work These different concepts for rows. Uh -huh. Looks like main Ling on this one. Olga, different Olga design. Nice. Yeah, there was another character that got uh, like uh, got cut out because. Um, they couldn't put him in. They ran out of memory space. It was Chinaman. It was kind of like a Jet Li sort of character. A lot of his powers, I think, were transported to Vamp. Vamp ended up with a lot of the, those powers. Vamp is a girl. Wow. I forgot about that. Hmm. 
Yeah, Vamp should have been a girl. That would have been cool. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, that's this the interview with Yamamoto. Uh, Yamamoto is another uh, art artist, um, does a lot of horror. That's his Yamamoto's uh, interpretation of uh, what he call it a Raiden. And yeah, he's extreme. We're going to talk about these men another time, but look at these accomplished illustration and that's joji it's sleep sleeping sleeping joji joji shinkawa sleeping all right everybody uh that's the metal gear solid 2 sense of liberty uh official art book thank you for watching thank you for your time and until next time